Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and this is the 40th anniversary Black Series Boba Fett helmet. Boba Fett. After this, we are settled size from. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. If you're new, uh, what it is that I do is I just admire Star Wars stuff. Uh, I do book reviews, I do toy reviews, collectibles. We talk about uh, Star Wars Celebration, talk about Disney. I am a Star Wars fan, okay? Star Wars fan. I am not just a collector, I'm not just a geek, I have been with the franchise since the very beginning and I am not a hater. I don't hate anything, uh, you'll never hear me say something negative against a director or a script or a movie or an actor. Basically if you slap Star Wars on it, I'm in. <laughs> so, uh, hey, and I know there's been a lot of other uh, YouTube channels that have already reviewed this, already done an unboxing, probably done it with high def camera, done it way better than me. So why am I doing it? Why am I throwing my voice into the, into the proverbial mix? Well, because, hey, I, I just got this. I know everybody else got it uh, when it first came out, and I know it's sold out in a lot of different places. Most notably, it's sold out on Amazon. Uh, I think before it sold out, it was uh, 130 bucks, I wanna say. Uh, but I wasn't planning on getting this for myself. Uh, it's, it was a more expensive price point, and whereas I am a huge, Boba Fett fan, I am. Love Boba Fett uh, ever ever since he, oh, no, before, before he came out. Um, I'm one of the people that actually got the mail away Boba Fett uh, when it first came out. So it collected my proof of purchase and sent it away. I've got tons of Boba Fett collectibles in my home, but uh, I just didn't plan on getting it because, uh, you know, I'm married and I have kids and there's other things I would spend my money on. Right, but um, I've always wanted to do a Boba Fett build. Most notably, uh, I've wanted to do the Return of the Jedi build. So let's talk about that really quickly. Uh, if you're thinking you'd buy this mask to wear as a costume piece, just know that this is the Empire Strikes Back paint job. Now, you'd say, well, what's the difference? Well, there is a difference. If you look at the two helmets side by side, Empire, and Jedi, you'll see that the paint job is different and Boba Fett's costume is different. In Empire, uh, Boba Fett's costume is more green, uh, more green pieces, more green armor pieces. In Return of the Jedi, there's more color. Uh, and so if you were gonna be a true costumer and you were thinking you were gonna build the costume from Jedi, this is an Empire helmet because it's celebrating uh, Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary. That would be this year, 2020. And if, Star Wars Celebration takes place in Los Angeles later this year. And that's a that's a big if, right, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> um, this It would also be a celebration of Empire Strikes Back and their 40th anniversary. So Black Series released this helmet and it's a fully finished helmet. So finished on the outside and the inside. And that's one of the things that makes this so cool. Um, I will say that there's no um, above and beyond extras. Really the only a uh, fun piece is the viewfinder that comes down and lights up, but there's no there's no microphone in this, there's no voice changer, there's no sound effects, okay? So there's nothing like that. Just the viewfinder uh, drops down and illuminates, there's lights to it. So I'll stop talking, let's look at the helmet right now. Okay, here's what makes my channel different from everybody else. I put the helmet on, okay? <laughs> so many people have put the helmet like up to the screen, but I wanna show you what it looks like on my head. And I have a really big head. Um, I wear a very large hat size. And so I will say right away, this doesn't rest on the top of my head. It kind of feels maybe like it should go down further, but I'm letting you see my neck from a 360 degree. You tell me uh, what you think. If you're a Boba Fett expert, you tell me what you think, uh, where it should fit on my head. Here's the plate visor. This is with the visor and the plate installed. Now that little black slidey piece that's on the front that you see, that can come out and I'll show you what it looks like both ways. But basically you push a button on the side of the helmet and it drops the visor down just like that. So here's your visor test with the plate missing. Now my eyes are not uh, at the top of both its helmet so I cannot see through the visor. Uh, my eyes are actually in the T-frame in the front there. And you notice I can't wear glasses with this helmet either. Let me show you a close-up of the paint job. And the paint job is, you know, absolutely gorgeous. And this is one of the things that makes the helmet just stand out as a collectible piece. 
all the way around, every single attention has been paid. Uh, it looks exactly like the ESB paint job. I held my helmet up against a computer screen and did a side-by-side -side turn uh, with both and just was completely impressed, blown away with the attention to detail on this. This is going to pass any inspection for a helmet. So here's what the little plate looks like when it's installed. I wanted to show you both ways and I'm going to leave my plate in if you're asking. Um, I just think that looks more authentic. There's the two uh, earpieces and the kill stripes up at the top. Here's the interior, which I think is really what sells this piece. Now you're going to notice that there's like a little construction uh, helmet uh, tie adjustable band there up at the top. The headpiece that rests on top of my head, that's the part of the helmet that I think keeps it from resting further. And I have it adjusted to its widest part. And so I wish there was a way I could add a little bit more length in there so that it fell a little bit lower on my head. But I just love the interior padding and all the spacing. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. All right, so that's everything I can say about my Black Series Boba Fett helmet. Of course, another huge shout out to my brother for purchasing this for me for my birthday. Uh, it meant uh, so much and I love it so much. It's going to be one of my favorite pieces for the rest of my life. Uh, please, if you have a moment, like this video and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys next time. May the force be with you.